Question 20. Compound Q is given. Uh, how many stereoisomers exist in this structure? Stereoisomers, we know that it's always cis trans or opticals. And they're always in pair. So in this Q, first we need to find how many chi chiral carbon it has. Okay, whenever you see the two-way intersection like this, so means CH2. So this is not chiral carbon. This is not chiral carbon. And this carbon with two methyl group, two same group, this is not chiral carbon. Whenever you see CC double bond or CO double bond, so this carbon is not chiral carbon. And this is CH3 not chiral carbon this one not chiral carbon cc double bond of course not chiral carbon okay carbonyl carbon also not chiral carbon ch3 not chiral carbon okay these two of course no only this one is chiral carbon because this carbon with with one one group okay is two towards this end all right. and another group so this is a big group and another group and this carbon it has one hydrogen as well so means it has four different groups bonded to it so this is a chiral carbon and it will form optical isomerism so means this one is going to contribute to stereoisomers. And we need to find whether there is a cis trans isomers or not. So we need to look at the CC double bond. Okay, this CC double bond cannot form cis trans because the positions already fixed means it's going to be always cis because this group and this group the big group they are always at the same side so therefore this one cannot form the stereoisomers the cis and trans and this cis double bond it can form cis trans okay it has one group Two group okay so this carbon it has two different groups and this carbon also got one group and another hydrogen so therefore this CC double bond it can form stereoisomerism it will contribute another two stereoisomers so two plus two so here is two and plus two total you get four stereoisomers. Answer is C. That's all. Thank you.